Hey guys, what's going on? This is Jake Pitts from the band Black Veil Brides. I've got a quick video for you today, and we're going to be talking about Bias FX Desktop. Bias FX Desktop is now available as a standalone version. So you're probably wondering, what is Bias FX Desktop standalone? What am I even talking about? Well, let me go ahead and show you. So to play your guitar through your computer, you've got to have an audio interface. So I'm going to plug my guitar into my audio interface, and I'm going to pull up Bias FX Desktop standalone version right here on my computer and show you how it works. So here I'm at my desktop. As you can see, Pro Tools is right here, but it is not open. So I'm going to open the Bias Effects standalone app. And it's right here, Bias Effects app. It's basically just a software or an application on your computer. Um, so you can go ahead and load that up. You can see the interface here. So it looks just like the same thing that would be in your digital audio workstation, but you do not need to have one anymore. I'm simply running this just on my computer and I can play it through my speakers here or right through the computer speakers. So with this standalone version of Bias FX Desktop, you're going to get authentic analog sounding effects and pedal boards, which you can see here. You can add all kinds of effects. You can blend different amps, so you've got dual amps and dual signal chains. You've got bias amp match integration. You've got tone cloud. And there's also MIDI and automation built in now. So let me go ahead and close this out. You go up here, click on your settings. You can see there's MIDI settings. So when you click on that, you can go to MIDI control, MIDI control assignments, and you can add a new control channel. So you can hook up a, a MIDI pedal board and you can you know, toggle amp effects on and off. You're able to switch between different channels. So you're able to control it like a real amp or pedal board all in real time, just like the real deal. There's also expression effects and you know, you can assign multiple parameters and a bunch more. Using the standalone version is the easiest way to use Bias Effects desktop. It's a pretty simple layout. You basically have your control panel here with your amp head and by clicking that, we'll bring up all your different kinds of amps. And then same thing with your guitar cabinet. You can select all kinds of different guitar cabinets. You can mic place your microphone and whatnot. And then you have all of your pedals here that you can add to your signal chain. So now the Bias FX desktop has MIDI and automation built in, I'm able to go ahead and play along with the song with the MIDI switching channels in real time. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick, just playing along to the song Shadows Die. For more information, you can go over to www.positivegrid.com and you can check out more information there on their website. 